What's happening? What's happening, people? Uh, we've got Nurabits, we've got myself. Obviously, Nurabits is the host. I just want to start off, you know, it's a new adventure for us. So please support us and hit that like button, subscription button, notification button, all that good stuff. What's going on, Nurabits? I'm good, bro. After a great win yesterday and uh, Arsenal and City put us to sleep with the nil nil draw. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't be happier, bro. I couldn't be happier. Yeah. It was a brilliant, it was a brilliant, you know, um, result for us. I think everybody was looking for a draw, wasn't it, the other day? And you know, it put us top of the league, which is important, in my opinion, as we can see people. <clears throat> Before we do the analysis, of course, and all that stuff. So let's look at the table. Uh, Liverpool are top of the league, and you know, a uh, couple of points clear of Arsenal, which is what we wanted, you know be you know going away from them instead of like being you know, next to them by you know same points or one point, you know what i mean uh, new beats exactly exactly that's it uh they've got a superior goal difference so it's important to get the points on the board um but i wanted to ask you what did you think about uh the, before we get into the liverpool game of the about man city and arsenal game and was... the tactics employed it was just too defensive, bro. Like, but Arsenal, like, you know, we, we was hearing like they're gonna like uh, play it, um, Man City team and all this stuff, but it wasn't, it wasn't even you know, like, it was just boring to watch, mate. It was really boring. I thought like Arsenal would give us more to watch than what we've seen, if you know what I mean. And um, Man City, the only one that wanted to play from what, what I looked at, and uh, yeah, the result went the right way because you know. One team wanted to get all the other team, you know, tried, but it just wasn't working. So, yeah, it was good all around for Liverpool. But at the end of the day, bro, all we have to do now is win a of our games and then we're, we're, we're there. You know what I mean? At least it's in our hands now, if you know what I mean. But, yeah. yeah exactly. Like I said, that, that game was just boring, bro. I didn't really like it. Exactly. You know, for me, I was thinking uh, the way our Teta set up was a must-not-lose and I think yeah. they must be quite confident that <laughs> Liverpool and Man City will drop points from now to yeah. the end of the season. So for the, that's the only reason I'm thinking that he would employ such a tactic because um, that was Mourinho-esque uh, against mm -hmm. Barcelona, if you remember. That was um, uh, Simeone, Simeone-esque. <laughs> It was so ridiculous for a game that was so built up, like, uh, and yeah, I think I think now I'm completely mm -hmm. off the off uh, a Pep or or Guardiola, uh, sorry, Pep or Arteta kind of style of football, man. Yeah, where they're trying to control the whole game and all this stuff. Like, we just need we need uh, our football back, like that end to end stuff. I'm glad. You know, this, this is this is why people say like you know Liverpool is is, is better to watch than these other teams because it's it's just end to end. They don't make the game boring, if you know what I mean. Uh, and, and, then, and then you look at their their game. I thought Arsenal was here to stay. You know what I mean? I thought Arsenal was here. You know to, you know, um, knock Man City off their perch, and they did really. <laughs> You know what I mean? It looks like, you know, you're still, they're still the red boys. <laughs> Sorry about the language. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, you're still their boys, isn't it? Man City is, is, is the daddy and you're not. Yeah, that's how it yeah, looks. Yeah. You know? Because all we're hearing all week is, you know, how Arsenal's going to bat um, Man City. And then Liverpool and Man City, I think that was the one uh, other team battered Man City. Do you know what I mean? We, we, yeah, we yeah. had more control in that game than Arsenal ever had in their game. I mean, all week we've been hearing from them saying, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do that to them. What you done? You've done nothing. You didn't even, I can't remember you attacking that much either. So basically, it's all talk, no action. And, you know, we we just have to keep going. Mate. That's all we've got to do. That's it. That's exactly uh, you know, this it. Full, this full stuff, um, there's a lot of full stuff Arsenal fans were like, building towards. I saw you know, other streams saying they're going to you know, do this to uh, Man City. They're gonna do it. It's all false, bro. It's all false. And, and now and, I know like it's, it's, it's a joke. Yeah, yeah. And and the way they crawled back, you know, after after the draw, they were like, oh, that was a great result. <laughs> well, I was like, bro, this is not how you was talking like during the uh, <laughs> international break. During the international break, they were going, yeah, we're going to smash these. I think I'm so confident with, for the first time we'll go over there and, you know, impose our game on, on them. But bro, mm. they just went super defensive. As soon as Man City broke that high, um, their press, 
They were all yeah. back, all of them, every single one. Yeah. And it was hard to break down. It just killed the game. Like, um, yeah, it ruined the been, game, bro. Yeah, yeah it ruined, ruined the game. This is why when, when managers think more about their careers more than like you know the the, the game of football uh, i just yeah. want a trophy or uh, i want i want to guarantee myself a trophy whatever mm. and i hope it bites them in the bum man because i've said in the past and i don't know if you agree with me yeah, but mm. i've said in the past i'd rather go lose a game going for it yeah than you know sitting back and then losing because then you've got all of these regrets. Uh, why didn't we go for it? We should have went for it. We shouldn't have dropped those points. Those points come into haunt us. But when you go for it, like against mm-hmm. um, what we did against Real Madrid, you know, the first year uh, yeah. where Carrius messed us up. Yeah. I prefer to lose that than imagine sitting back and then a lot, like, you remember Simeone against um, Real Madrid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof, that would hurt more. Like, sit back all game and then. Uh, and try yeah. hitting a counter attack. Exactly. I mean, it, it, that's that's what I mean about Arsenal. They should be ashamed of themselves after that game. You know what I mean? You could see the heat map and everything. They, they wasn't even trying, bro. You know what I mean? Their their avenues were blocked. This is everywhere they were going. There was a player there every single time. They wasn't used to that. You know, the worst part of it is, mate. Mm. Um, that wasn't even Man City's strongest team. That's exactly it. I thought they were going for them, especially there's no Walker. There's a, it's like. Someone pointed it out, and I didn't really notice it until afterwards. It was like mm. Arsenal was playing four four centre backs, Man City yeah. were playing four centre backs and two DMs, and Arsenal <laughs> played two DMs. I was like, I would be like, keep this <laughs> football away from me. I don't want to see this ever again. And then I was like, definitely, I don't want to see in the Champions League uh, Arsenal versus Man City if if that's how they're gonna play. Ah, it's boring, bro. Like, it's just, it, it's just. You know what it is, bro. You know they've been facing nobodies there, and then you know their fan base started going off like off that, and that's that's what happened actually in the game. Their fan base were going off that, thinking, oh, you know, um, we're dominating this team, we're dominating that team, and then when it comes to the you know real real football, it shows, mate. Even against us, there was even that all that really like we dominated them in, in, in our game at home even that away game it wasn't that much between the teams either was it really if you think about it it's just the mistakes that we made that really you know got them that win uh, yeah. if you look at the goals they scored so yeah, yeah. and and like we was missing a lot of players the, the worst ball they're not missing a lot of us you know what i mean and um it, it, they still can't do what you expect them to do if you know what i mean like if you got your full team you expect to, you know, beat teams. Like, you, you look at the lack of, of Saka and all these guys. What have they actually done in those games? They keep, mm. like, disappearing, bro. Salah at least turns up, you know what I mean? And, and, and players like that. What, we keep hearing the, the, the comparisons with uh, Salah. But what do you guys, what does Saka do? What does, you know, uh, all the guard and all these guys do? They don't really do much. Yeah, exactly. Especially, like, especially with, like, the, the results Arsenal coming off of. 6-0 against yeah. West Ham and, and all of this and then we thought okay they're not conceding any any chances mm-hmm. and then we thought alright let's see it's going to be a good test like try and play the yeah. same way let's see if you can maintain this but yeah. reverting back that way and then you could tell you could tell that that was the game plan you know a lot of like these t- uh, the guys that's into tactics and stuff say yeah you know what yeah. he, he was um, he was pushed back Arsenal were pushed back by Man City and I was like no I don't think so because if you listen to Odegaard talk after the game and you listen to Arteta talk, they mm-hmm. they have exact same um, uh, speech, basically, prepared. Yeah. So they were like, uh, no, nah, you know, uh, we tried to win the game, but if you can't, make sure you lose, you don't lose it. So that means you was there to make sure you don't lose that game because they both said it at the same time. It's something that was yeah. emphasized inside that change yeah. room or during the week. <laughs> And so that's what we get in it, like, uh, and then it's well, a big like disappointment. To... Let's just put it away, wasn't it? It's a big disappointment yeah. for a game that's been built up the way it was. It was a big disappointment, and um, it just goes to show, in it, like you know, the league, um, Liverpool, what they're doing is just extraordinary. You know, what I mean, we've got so much injuries, but we just get on with it and do the stuff on the pitch. If you know what I mean, and, and um, nobody can take that away from us. You know, what I mean, if you look at other teams. Uh, and, and what we've done this season, nobody can take away what we've done this season. It's just amazing, bro. And I love it, man. 
hundred percent, man. Like Liverpool need to earn their respect. A lot of people didn't even put us uh, in the top top four this season, thinking it was yeah. a transition season. We'll take some time to get used to each other. But what mm-hmm. Klopp has done is unbelievable. The way he's put them together. I remember in the beginning yeah. of the season when we were discussing, it was like I was saying to you that mm. as long as we stay with the pack, yeah. and I'm confident second half of the season we might. Uh, go in with that momentum and that's what yeah. we've done we stayed with the pack and now we're leading the pack and hopefully I hope that we can stay stay on top and win it and then um, let's see let's hear the excuses from Arsenal fans then in it <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah bro take over man what we're gonna do now today mate yeah so today um hopefully you guys remember guys share this subscribe and uh, share it with all your contacts as as well. We're going to try and, what is it, break down some of the game yesterday, some things that I found interesting. And it'll be good as well if you guys, is, let's make it interactive. So from from um, next time, we'll have this show regularly. I would love for you guys to be like, you know, um, messaging us or, or what have you. Anything that you've noticed, timestamp it so then I can go look at it and bring it forward as well. And then I'll say, look, for example, I'll say, Redbird said, have a look at this time. We'll have a look and break it down as well. So that way we all learn something and see see the game in different, like the, all of us see the game in a, in a different way. And some things might be interesting to you. And then you point it to us and may become interesting to us as well. So we're going to um, have a look at, Yesterday's game, yeah. So um, yesterday, one thing I found interesting, you know, the way Brighton, Brighton play, mm-hmm. is um, a style where when they when they are the best build up play. Mm-hmm. So when they've got it from the keeper, and then they play out, usually they've got their two strikers or single striker. Here you've got Welbeck with Endo here, who usually drops in right to beat the press, and then. Mm-hmm. This number 15 is usually the guy that he'll pass to. Mm. And then they'll that, that's how they'll uh, bypass our press and bypass, you know, most of uh, the big team's presses because they, they love to play vertically through the middle of the of the, of the pitch. Mm. But one thing I've noticed, and, and, and if you guys go watch it back and, and notice it, was how Van Dijk was very, very aggressive in, in the game yesterday where he would follow like literally leave his position and follow that number 15 uh, out and and not just leave him just to receive the ball up high. So look where VVD is. Uh, Kwanzaa is, is probably marking a on the far, on the far right with Bradley probably going to go after Esp- Esp- Espetinia. But Van Dijk, what I've noticed that he time and time again, he will be coming. Look again here. Mm. Time went forward. He's he's looking for Welbeck. This is what they like to do: put it into Welbeck. Welbeck turns and gives it into the fifteen. The fifteen then has the option of Adingra, and I think it was um, remind me of that that short player mm. uh, for Brighton, the black uh, uh, brother. What's his name? Lamptey. Lamptey. So Lamptey. Yeah. Somewhere on the right. Yeah. Yeah. And that for me was like, you know, music to my ears. We was uh, very, very aggressive. And they usually get the criticism in it where mm-hmm. uh, he's always sitting back. He's not... But this game, he was super, super aggressive because he was given the task. That guy cannot turn and come at us. Uh, yeah. And I don't, know what, I don't know what you think because usually Van Dijk does like to, you know, let the, the, the opponent come to them and he's confident enough to, you know, um, take it off them. But we know... Brighton's game plan is to do those quick one-two passes, and they're in in behind you. What do you think? The the, the that's that's the thing with me and Liverpool at the moment. Like I have issues with, um, but yesterday was all right because you know as the game went on, uh, they started closing the teams down. I think we're too easy to get at, bro. You know, I'm like 
um, teams know how to get out of tight situations, and you know we we fall for it a lot. That's 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 what angers me. If you look at Brighton, the way they pass the ball through to the other players in the game, it was just too easy, bro. If you look at you know the other teams like the top teams in the Premier League, which is the other two, um, they always close by to their players. This is why the ball doesn't go through, you know, and they, then they counter attack and score a goal. That's how the goal came about because you know it was just too easy to pass through us. You know, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. But as you said, as the game went on, and you can see Van Dijk, and you can see now on the ball, I think that's uh, Kwanzaa or no, Endo, that's Endo yeah. uh, going towards the player. So it shows like uh, it takes us time to do these things. But you know, in the beginning of the game, yeah. we have to be on on point because we're challenging for a league title. There's about nine games to go, so let's play a European way where we don't concede goals in the you know in the first ten minutes. We shouldn't concede goals anyway. But mm. I think we're a bit lazy in regards to closing down teams. If you know what I mean, um, uh, Nurub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and and that's something we've got to work on next season, in my opinion. If you look at the, the other two, their, their appetite is you know to throw their balls and the uh, so to throw their body in, uh, their bodies on the ball. They make sure there's no gaps appearing. You know, mm. like if you don't want to run, you, what do you do? Do you keep the ball better? You make sure you're close to your opponents as well, so they don't get the passes. That makes you run a lot. If you know what I mean? Exactly, exactly. And uh, if you think back to the time when we had our best best season in defense as well as uh, our attacking. Yeah. Season we had uh, Mane on the left, who would regularly be a pressing monster. For uh, Firmino was a pressing monster, and these guys weren't just there to press, but they would often like you know uh, win the ball as well in, yeah. in those situations. And I think that's what we're lacking now: um, players that can press and win the ball. I know mm -hmm. uh, McAllister can do it, and Endo can do it, but the rest yeah. of the forward line, like Salah. Nunes and Diaz. Yeah. I don't think they're like they they are they've they've they're built like that to, you know, read the game and and win the ball very, very quick. And so yeah. um that's what I've I've said the same thing is true. What you exactly what you said mm -hmm. that we're so easy to play against, especially when you know teams employ like a a one touch football, yeah, easily play through us. But I think um depending on the new manager, how he comes in, yeah. Um, they're gonna have to change again, probably uh, a little bit of the system. Yeah. Uh, um, it won't be as as Klopp like likes it the counter pressing because Klopp uh, the the pressing mechanism it takes time for them to the team to learn and and this new midfield sometimes in the beginning they're like a little bit off it. Yeah, and, and that's why we've been conceding. But the good thing is we've con we've conceded uh, seven times early and we've come mm. back and won the yeah. game seven times. So which is which is good. You know, we don't want to go to the last minute. We have to score a winner again and things like that. And then one day it will fail, if you know what I mean. That's the yeah, last one we want to go for. 100% it will fail. It failed against us, against Man United. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, so it's bound. But they, they refreshed their intention and, and we went on. Mm. But yeah, so that was that was uh, what I wanted to... One thing I noticed from yesterday's game is Van Dijk's high, high mm. pressing and following uh, that number 15. I can't remember his name. Uh, wherever he went, as long as as soon as he went deep, Van Dijk would always follow him. Um, the second bit was I wanted to talk about the our second goal that we scored, mm -hmm. and um, I wanted to highlight um, the upgrade in midfield that we've done this year with McAllister, and also uh, I wanted to discuss Sabozlai's position, mm -hmm. and also I wanted to discuss Nunes and how he he causes a lot of chaos even if he doesn't score in a game and a lot of people need to start to you know notice him a little bit more yeah. especially when he doesn't score like what the, the amount of space he creates and and stuff for the team to yeah. allow us to score these type of goals so if we go here we see Sobozlai in my opinion Sobozlai uh should not be a midfielder in my opinion I think he should be uh, a winger mm. um uh, or 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 yeah, a winger on either side for me because yeah. this is what he could produce. Like, um, and I think if you notice it, whenever he receives the ball in midfield, yeah, he usually goes back. He doesn't really turn. He doesn't turn. He doesn't uh, turn on the half on the half turn. He yeah. usually 
goes back. McAllister is the one, the guy that turns in the half uh, on a half turn and opens yeah. the game. Yeah. I don't know what you think Sobozla's position is because sometimes I see his passing in the final third, like against mm. United, we had so many opportunities yeah. where he would, you know, be driving with the ball and it's just that final ball, that final through ball was missing from him. What do you think? I think it would sob us like he's a number 10. Like if, if, if people mis misunderstand where he plays in, in the game, he's a number 10 guys. He's, he, I mean, and if you look at him for Hungary, he's their talisman. He's the one who creates things. He's the one who does those. He saw the pass he made to McAllister. Like it was the right pace at the right time. And then McAllister, all he had to do is control it and play that ball to Salah. Um, stop us like playing, like, I've, I've said it a lot of times. And now, the, I don't know if Klopp has been listening to me. I did say, like, swap McAllister and Soboslai in that midfield. Give yeah, Soboslai more a free role than McAllister. Yeah. And I mean, McAllister can play anywhere. That's how yeah. good that guy is. And he's underrated, in my opinion. Now yeah. you see McAllister on the right side, where he's originally been bought for. And you yeah. see Soboslai on the left side, but he has more of a free role, which is like going and roaming around the pitch. You yeah. know what I mean? And getting the ball, chasing him back and all that stuff. Now it shows like they are free to do what they were bought to do. And yeah. now you see the fruit in the, uh, the fruit in the pudding, in it? The fruit in yeah. the pudding, pudding, I mean. So yeah. with, with Soboslai doing these kind of things, it brings more of his game out of him as well. He's taking set pieces, he's running with the ball, he's building a relationship with Diaz. Look at Diaz's performance yesterday, now Soboslai is on that side. There's two games yeah. Soboslai played on the, on the left-hand side, which is the, no, three games, sorry, the Man United away game, uh, the Man City game, and uh, and uh, and uh, this game as well. So yeah. it shows he can build a relationship with those guys as well, like on the left side with, uh, with the left-back and, and, and Diaz. Diaz, there's more to his game now since he's been playing there. You can see Diaz performing, scoring goals, should have had another one. I don't know how that was offside still. I'm still confused about that. Yeah. And, you know, um, you know, like I said, the, the best thing about this formation right now, it brings the best out of players. And um, he, Soboslai can have this role, which is coming to the le right, coming to the left, because McAllister can always drop deep with Endo and, you know, be more compact when we need to be defensive, if you know what I mean, uh, Nurabits. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. I agree. And that's where he's fought to exactly what you said. Running with the ball is his, is his thing. And yeah. just like how he received it here from the wing from Van Dijk, and he can drive. Look, he, he's, he's driving into into space, and which then opens up uh, the crazy gap for McAllister. Yeah. And also, if you if we if we look at um, Darwin Nunes, there, his first thing. Look, he's he's thinking uh, if Soboz like crosses it here, I need to be at at that penalty spot. Yeah. So he's pushing that the uh, the line back for for Brighton. And yeah. you'll see why that becomes like, you know, um, uh, to our advantage at the end. Um, if we go forward here, what I like about McAllister here, as soon as the ball comes, it's, it's coming into him. He's got two options here. He's yeah. got, he can either give it to Nunes uh, on the left or he can give it to Salah, yeah. which, is, which is something that we were missing for a long time in our team. Someone that can, you know, find their players in these two positions. We know that McAllister found um, Nunes against uh, against Nottingham Forest. Here, he's got two options. And now, if you look at Brighton's line, it's completely broken. There's no... Uh, their line is... One guy is super deep. Another guy is coming in as well. He's worried about uh, Nunes at the back post. If you see the guy at the back post, he's mm -hmm. coming in as well. So he takes two players out. And then if we, if we go forward... Look at the line there. So Salah's always going to be onside because those two are worried about who Nunes. Yeah. And that's what the, having Nunes creates. These guys are super, super scared. And the other centre-back, look how, how high he is compared to the other two. And so this, this displayed for me why we need a Nunes and what Haaland can't give for for Man City Nancy, because yeah. he's if you see Haaland and you he's he's very much uh I need the perfect ball into <laughs> yeah. me for him to score you know what I mean so yeah. here's here Nunes does so much more than a than a Haaland creates space for Salah and then if we if we go forward boom Salah gets it controls it really well as well 
and then he's got that uh, that whole right side yeah. or his left side to to scoring. Um, I don't know what you think about uh, Nunes here creating that that space and creating that mm-hmm. gap uh, or that deep line for Salah to stay on side. It's it's a striker's instinct, isn't it? And not only that, there's something you do in the training ground, from what I can see. Like this, this is something they did in the training ground. I think McAllister did say after the game that uh, Salah has been asking for through balls like this throughout the game, you know, throughout the season. So uh, I had to deliver for him. So uh, to me, like there's a lot of opportunities like this during games, and we don't really take it. You know what I mean, Nurabits? Yeah, like yeah, uh, I've yeah. seen it so many times. I think to myself. If I was playing, I would yeah. just look for those through balls. You know when the games are tight and yeah. the, the deep line defending? If you yeah. play these type of balls, you'll get more goals than, you know, but we try to walk it in and it just doesn't make any sense. Exactly. But, but luckily, we've got intelligent players like McAllister. McAllister, since he's been playing in that number eight, he's been phenomenal, guys. Like You know what I mean? We remember him as a number six start of the season and everybody yeah. said, yeah, you know what? Keep him in that position. He's all right. Yeah. Now, yeah. he's moved up a spot. He's looking one of the best play, like one of the best players in the league, probably the best player in the league the way he's performing at the moment we're in top for no reason you know what i mean his calmness is the thing that actually brought, brought us these wins like if you look at the uh, northern forest away you look at this game you look at even may night away if we yeah. kept it to the to the levels that we should have in that game i yeah. think you know McAllister would have played an integral integral part of it but nunes like you said um he suits this uh liverpool team the only thing that's missing from nunes is the goals once that comes together he's the i think he's going to be the complete striker in my opinion you know with nunes he's not making rash decisions anymore he's passing the right passes he's making the right runs uh, and you know um and he's building relationships with, 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 with not no just with Salah but with the whole team so when once that comes together I think he'd be the most dangerous striker in the Premier League mate you know what I mean because you know there's no more you know like I said rash decisions I haven't seen yeah. you know misplaced yeah. passes and things like that yeah 100 uh, percent and also shout out to McAllister for how many players of 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 Liverpool's past uh, past uh, the past few years would have made that pass there? Exactly. I had a needle stuff like someone that's got the the balls to to what is it you know or see it first and then and then execute and yeah. so it was very like the ball into him was hard he controlled it on the spot which allowed him to give this pass if he had miscontrolled it or the ball bounced up then it, the chance sort of went. Um, yeah, so I agree with you 100%. Um, and then uh, lastly, I just wanted to show you because Liverpool won mm. and Arsenal, Man City drew, you know, that supercomputer mm-hmm. that they say that's, that's showing <laughs> us the probability of wins, uh, it, sh- it made Liverpool favorites, uh, now, uh, yeah. with 47%. Uh, Man City is still above Arsenal for some reason. And then 19% for 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 Arsenal. So um if Liverpool, I think the tricky for me, the trickiest game will probably be Man United. Yeah. If we pass that, I think Liverpool's got if they remain professional mm-hmm. for the last few games and, and we produce what we usually produce, I think uh, it'll be very hard to stop us. I don't know what you think. Uh, listen, uh I look at our fixtures, there's difficult fixtures for us. There's difficult fixtures for Man City. There's f- difficult fixtures for Arsenal. You know what I mean? It's also, all we have to, is to win the remaining nine games. Make it, professional. Make it like a European tie, like I said before, Nurebis. Make sure you don't concede. Make sure you're tight. Make sure you get the goals. You know, like, if you get early goals, this is what Man City do. Get the early goals, and then it opens up the teams, in it? So it opens yeah. up the defence, it opens up everything else. That's what we need to do. We, st- we need to stop conceding early goals to make the game more difficult for the other team you know, to sit back and you know, we try to break them down and we struggle. Mm. So uh, in my opinion, like um, just remaining in nine games, we've got, I think, a midweek game against Sheffield United on Thursday. Win that, get as much as goals as possible in that game. And then we've got May United on Sunday. So... Um, you know, like the games are coming thick and fast, but it's becoming less and less. That's the most important yeah. thing. You know, I mean, yeah. we've got nine games yeah. to go, and we just have to, like, you know, be professional and win those games, bro. Hundred percent. Let me 100%. let me just read the comments before we go on, because there's a lot of comments. Yeah. There. Uh, and it says in the graphics, um, Joe, it's up to you. Yeah, you start saying it because <laughs> it's your show. So yeah, just get. Oh no! Uh, you okay? Hold on. Um, Joe Powell, Liverpool top of the league. 100%. Uh, 
Uh, it's showtime from Redbird. <laughs> uh, Joe again. How are you all? I'm doing good. Um, up, Posey's doing good, and Liverpool's doing good. Yeah. Uh, big win, lads, from Abel. Hundred percent. Redbird says. Now that's what I call an intro. Thank you very <laughs> much. LFC Ari says, hello, hello, hello. Please like, share, subscribe. 100% people, if you haven't shared, if you haven't subscribed, if you haven't liked yet, please do so now. It's free of charge. Thank you very much, guys. Um, LFC Ari says, hey, chat, which game do you think was more entertaining? City versus Arsenal, Liverpool versus Brighton? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Write that down, guys, what you guys think. Yeah. Um, Shitty. Redbird says, she eat us. Our draw <laughs> was the best result for us, in my opinion. And uh, yeah. um, we'll stop it. Last one here. We'll then. stop it there. Yeah. Um, LFC Arrigues agreed. Redbird, great result for us. Why the implication for those teams mm -hmm. as well as the UA for Champions League runs? Exactly. And that's, that's probably can come into it as well uh, mm -hmm. in favor of us. But yeah, thank you guys for commenting. Uh, keep those comments coming in. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so where, where was we? We was, yeah, so we was discussing, the uh, yeah. yeah, the supercomputer. And um, um, I like it. I like our chances. I think if we, mm -hmm. if if we, as I said, and United is my, it's my only game that I'm thinking could be tricky because of, uh, we've given them a little bit of like confidence now because of, uh, the FA Cup game, yeah. How we deal with that? Hopefully, we come out like you know, gums blazing. But my concern is not really the defense of Liverpool; it's actually killing the games. Like yeah. we get so many opportunities to kill the games, we need to start to kill the game, uh, so we can have the last 10 15 minutes nice and easy without ha having a heart attack. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> it, that is the issue we have in games, bro. Like uh, with the. Um... But that's something with the coaching, the coaching staff, isn't it? Um, because it's a it's a reoccurrence of the same things in every game that we play, bro. Uh, yeah. We don't make it easy for ourselves. I mean, and like I said in the beginning, we 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 overextend ourselves to the point players get injured and they get tired as well. So we don't want to be going through like things like that in the last nine games. Um, just be professional, bro. Just be professional. Uh, save your energy, and you know, um, this is the. F I think, like, if we win the league, it is the first time we've beaten, you know, teams head, you know, like, when it's close points as well in years, like, in years gone by, especially in the yeah. Premier League. We, obviously, we only won it once, but we won it by landslide last time, innit? So, yeah. um, the, the, the saying is, like, Liverpool can't beat, you know, teams when they're close with points, but people forget, you know, screw jobs are always around the corner. So yeah. uh, we don't want to get into things like that, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Just, yeah, just be more professional and, you know, make sure you don't concede chances and uh, learn from like, the mistakes that we did in the last game as well. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, also, I wanted to get your thoughts on Fauzi and, and the chat as well. I wanted to get you guys get your, uh, your thoughts on this. Um, we've got, I don't know if you guys can, is that, let me see if we can oh, make it bigger. Yeah, there you go. So, um, here is a breaking news from UEFA considering scrapping the penalty shootouts instead of deciding the winner of a tie, mm -hmm. uh, they'll decide it by who won, uh, via XG. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll come to you, uh, Falsy. What do you think before I give you my thoughts? Scrapping what the penny shootouts, yeah. Uh, deciding winner by okay, by Ty, who won uh, XG. Oh, go what's what's XG again? Like, oh, XG what, what, is that expected goal, so like if you had goals. so many chances, yeah. So if you had so many chances, but it didn't go in, yeah. they're trying to basically say we want to favor the attacking team, right? Who the attacking team man, is that foot is that football anymore? Nura bits, like what is this nonsense, man? I mean, uh, like, honestly, what? like, what do you think of it? Because I don't know if that's anything to do with the game in the modern game. You know I mean, I, I, I understand that I said exactly the same thing when I first read the headline, right? But then mm. I started thinking about it. I was thinking, okay, so what are they trying to achieve here? For me, I think they're trying to achieve getting rid of those, uh, like the like make it slightly bigger, bro. Uh, do command and plus, 
you could make a bigger command and plus uh, on on that on the actual Twitter. Oh, on the Twitter itself. Yeah, yeah. Just click on it and then the command and plus will go bigger. That big guy, big enough. There you go. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, you got you know the shortcuts. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think they're trying to get rid of games like we saw yesterday with Man City Arsenal. Yeah. If because if if teams let's say. To, actually, the good example game was the Porto Arsenal yeah. team will just sit and be compact all game, make sure that they don't lose and just force a game to go into penalties mm. where they're trying to encourage teams to be a little bit more attacking so it becomes a little bit more entertaining. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's I think that's that's part of it. And, I, and, and my thinking was this, like, what were you talking about? But then after I thought to myself, mm-hmm. if you... If... If it encourages a more attacking end-to-end football, why not? Like, I know what I, you're I, saying, but how do you win the game? How do you actually win the game? Like just ex, uh, XG, like who does the most attack? Yeah, There's no yeah, goals. So, so, so yeah, exactly. So let's say it finished nil nil. <laughs> what? <laughs> let's say like for your example, yesterday, yeah, it, it finished nil nil, but the team that had the the, the, the attacking. Um, I know what I know, Nubis. I know what you're saying, but yeah. if football is heading that way, we might as well just call it a day, bro. Like, come on, man. <laughs> goals wins you games. If you're not gonna ha- have goals, what is the actual point of even watching this nonsense? Phantom like, goals. Because it's gonna it's gonna be like that next. You know what I mean? XGs and you know and all this other stuff. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So what's the point then? Like, you know what I mean? We're already struggling to celebrate goals. Now you're bringing that on top of that. Oh boy. <laughs> you know what? It's, see, it's Americanized. I said it all up. It's, this game is Americanized, and now we're heading towards that direction. It's finished, mate. It's finished, man. I'm sorry. Like, there's no goals in games, and then oh, this guy, this team had more attack. You, you might as well just give it to Man City. They're always, you know, at possession. Everyone, they're always at attack. Everyone, just give it to Man City before the even starts. You know what I mean? Come on, man. What is this, man? Is this football anymore? Like telling me I, and people are trying to make me like convince me with this XG stuff in the modern day. I know what you mean, Nurbis, but yeah, yeah. it's it's pathetic, uh, mate. Like uh, goals uh, uh, should uh, win you games. Without goals, there's no point. Uh, uh, oh, I'm gonna have to respectfully disagree with you because <laughs> I just hate like like yesterday's game is a prime example when the team comes and just shuts down the game and just doesn't allow teams to play. Uh, it's just it's just a super war and I hate it and, and um, but the tactical bro everybody has their own tactical. way of playing you yeah, might as well I, just get rid of the, the management then the, you know these things are going to be that. around forever you know what I mean yeah I don't know so, I hear that I hear mm. that but I I just don't like I don't mind the defensive a defensive team with a clear way yeah. of like for example uh, Chelsea against uh, Man City they, they were yeah. defensive but yeah. they were still attacking Man City on a counter, yeah. and so it made yeah. the game still exciting. Yeah. But yesterday, when Arsenal like just just give it back to Man, Man City, and then it comes again, and then it's just Man City passing about seventy seven hundred times, and you're just like, oh, I can't, I can't stay switched what? on to this type of game. <laughs> like you know, you know what I mean? Like it's, 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 it's I know, I know, I know, I know. It's boring, bro. I know that. that that's tactical. That's what it is. Whether we like it or not, that's football in the modern day. It is it's, it's football in the old days. You know what I mean? Without that, football wouldn't exist, if you know what I mean. So, um, if you can't beat teams that's possession based every single time, and, you know, this is the way to go. You have to be deep line defending and then, you know, you, you win the game for that, that way. And, and, and when it becomes, uh, when that team wins, that means they're successful at what they do. So now you're taking that away from them. They have to attack, 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 attack. There's going to be like a cricket scores in the game. Do you get what I'm saying? Because like, they, ha- they have to win the XG. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're basically encouraging a basketball match, isn't it? Yeah, so mate. It's, I, I, I told you guys, this whole sport is heading towards America. There you go. If you look at the ownership in the Premier League, it's Americanized already. 13 teams are owned by Americans. Leeds United next season, if they break the Premier League, that's 14 teams. So basically, the majority yeah, yeah, yeah. wins the votes. So once yeah, these yeah. teams come in, they, all they have to do is do a vote and the majority wins. We're, we're messed up. Let's let's read the Super Chats, man. Big up uh, John Conway as always. Big up Fozzie. Big up Nurebeats. You never walk alone. How are you? We're all good, mate. Nurebeats. Yeah, I'm good, bro. Thank you for sending your Super Chat. 
And Joe Conway is someone I've seen quite a bit for the channel. He's a good supporter. He's very so. supportive, man, to all the Liverpool channels, bro. He's very yeah, supportive. Wicked. One Thank of you, the best bro. guys. Yeah, there you go. Let's see the comments to, to what is it? Um, let's catch up on the comments and see what the chat is saying. Yeah. Um, so we were, I think we were, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fozzy, who's in the fifth in the table? Who's fifth in the table? Uh, the table should be there. Let me just put it in. There you go. Tottenham. Tottenham, yeah. Uh, LFC Ari says, Red Bull, I believe it's Spurs. Yep, he answered it. Arsenal are the great pretenders, 100% Redbird. Uh, yep, he, LFC Ari, thanks, mate. Big up all, Aziz. Thank you, Aziz. Massive three points yesterday, 100%. Uh, and more importantly, Arsenal City drawing, yes. Even though it's ugly to watch. Salah is three goals and assist away from 300 goals and assist in seven seasons. Wow. Average 40, 43 goals and assist per season. Wow. Wow. That's I didn't even know it was that much. But yeah, like people need to stop disrespecting Salah, man. Salah's a machine. Yeah, he is, man. you got to um, be real, innit? you got to be real with that stuff. 100%, 100%. Like me, sometimes he can be frustrated, like, you know, when he misses some of those chances, but he's relentless. He keeps coming again and again. Yeah. Um, NFC Harry says, was surprised to see VVD press as high as he did for the mo uh, for the moments in the game. Yeah. Even sometimes he got beat. I think it was Barbena, that mm -hmm. big guy that went past him. Yeah. And they had to, you know, pull him back because... <laughs> You're yeah, not going past, mate. Uh, Redbird, uh, Salah, Salah could have had a hat trick yesterday. Still, the Egyptian King scored the winner, but what a goal from Lucho. Yeah. Oh. Lucho's goal was just like so much instinct. Man. The guy you was... know what's funny? Yeah. Uh, the day before, uh, I was discussing it with a panel in about Lucho, and yeah. all of a sudden he gets the goals like that, man. It's crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's a fool. You know, maybe I should say that about everyone, and then, you know, they, they'll play better. I don't know, man. No, you know, man. with Lu Lucho, I love Lucho, yeah, but the thing is, like, uh, it's a big drop off from Mane. That's what I said. It was, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a big, big drop off from Mane. You know what I mean, yeah. give me a little bit, like, at least. That's all I ask for. Like, create goals or do something. That's that's all I ask for. I don't do want you just to do little dribbles and then there's nothing comes out. There's no end product. You know do, I mean? it's just do, too much. do you know what's killing him? I think, yeah, mm -hmm. is I don't think the other players know when he'll pass or when he'll shoot. Yeah. Because he's like dribbling so much. He cuts in, cuts out, cuts in, cuts out. Mm -hmm. So. It's, it's difficult to, like, you know, be in sync with him. Mm. Um, so sometimes it comes off and sometimes it doesn't. Like, I think, uh, uh, yeah, he's, he's frustrating sometimes, but, yeah, still a good player. Yeah. Uh, Fox in the box finish from Lucho, 100% from LFC Ari. Um, spot on bro from Redbird. Ari, yeah. Um, Sorry, what did I write? Brighton must might mm -hmm. sue us for robbing them with what we paid for Mecca. Wow. <laughs> 35. And also I'm... Alan Shearer tried to say on the on match of the day. Mm. I think it was Alan Shearer. Yeah, he tried to say that oh, it's 35 million going up to 55 million. I was like, where did you get that from? <laughs> Hang on a second. Just... Wasn't it, didn't Carl say that cost 115 million or something yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. what's he... Mark Callister worth then? He tried to inflate his price. I was like, bro, it's 35 million. That's it. There's no add ons. Um, that's crazy, man. Uh, Redbird says, I think Endo unlocks Maka. Your thoughts, guys? What do you think? Does Endo unlock Maka? Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, the protection at the back. What I like about Endo compared to what Fabinho used to do, don't get me wrong, Fabinho is always going to be a legend. What he used to do. But the thing is, Fabinho used to get out of position and he's too far to get back, you know, and, you know, stop the goals going in. But what I like about Endo, sometimes he goes back to the three centre-backs. You know what I mean? He, he, he becomes the third centre-back. Then, he, you know, he, he, re he releases the likes of Soboslai and Endo to do, sorry, Soboslai and Makalis to do, to do what they normally do. But he's 100% right. He, I think he unlocks for both of them, bro. You know, him being deep, um, makes sure those other players perform to their ability, if you know what I mean. If you haven't got that, that like someone is going to sacrifice his own game for the yeah. sex of other ones to, you know, to get to that higher level, um, you, then you get problems, you know what I mean? As we did in the beginning of the season, like, you know, we, we couldn't unlock some teams. I think we've got about a few draws because of that things, you know what I mean? So, 
Yeah, yeah. Now you see Sobos Light as well. Yesterday he was he was back to the Sobos Light that we know in the second half. First half he was you know shaky. Second half you could see like he's chasing people about, closing them down, making mistakes, and um, and there's more to his game now. And yeah, and the likes of people like Endo is the ones that you know lets them do that as well. Hundred percent, no doubt about that, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed now this one uh, LFC Ari with a super chat he says he guys next to philosophy figures are April Fool and I just like <laughs> oh my god it is April April 1st I hate April 1st you know that I always fall for it everything that comes out I always fall for it I was like yeah hey, what a good idea well I look like it right it does, it does though but would you be open to things like that though I, I, I honestly like I'm not the it but he's a yeah, I'm I'm a bit I'm a bit like you know, uh, Americanizing in in some in some aspects, where I would like, for example, you know how the league is right now, uh, and I, and all my friends and all all the people I've already told uh, this to, has all shut me down. I'm like shut up, you're talking rubbish, and I would say instead of like you know we have like let's say we have a 38 game season, right? Yeah, and instead of number one just winning the league like that, top yeah. the top four do a little playoff to see who really wins the league. You know what I mean? Who yeah. really deserves it? And um, kind of like the the way the championship to to get into the Premier League to have like a little playoff yeah, yeah. at the end. I I, yeah. I I pitched that to them, and I I was getting shut down. Shut mm -hmm. up! What do you mean? Whoever's number one is the winner. Yo, what are you trying to what is it make me play some more games for? Oh, I was like, uh, I don't know what you think. What with the X thing? No, no, no. Just like uh, oh. let's say the, the season doesn't mm. end with just you know finishing on top at, at 38 games, then mm. that basically makes you qualify for a playoff. So first place, fourth, second place, third, and then you like get an to American a final. kind of thing. Kind of like American, yeah. Bro, it ain't for me, man. I'm, I'm a <laughs> traditionalist, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is what I'm all about. The reason they... Have you never seen the American sports? There's no draws. I mean, it's just win or lose. I can't... Nah, bro. Bro, yeah, they even bro. tried to do... They, when they started the MLS, they even tried to do like a penny shootouts from the halfway line. And oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah, was yeah, just... Yeah. Like I said, no. Just well, they did the a one-on-one. On one. Leave the beautiful game as it <laughs> is. You know what I mean? Come on, man. We have already, we've already taken away the tackles from this game. Now you're bringing in some more stuff. Listen, the future <laughs> does look like that. It might head that way. We don't know, man. You know what I mean? The way yeah, things look. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's sad. But yeah, for me, no, bro. No, I don't want yeah. nothing to I'm, do I'm, with America. I like our <laughs> sport the way it is. Yeah. You know I mean, let them do what they do. This is why their sport is just in their country. It's not It's not outside that nobody's interested in. I mean, maybe yeah, basketball, yeah, yeah. you could say. But other than that, nobody's interested in their sport. No offence, but I'm just being realistic. You know I mean, this is a world sport. Football is for everybody. And I want it to stick like that. I want us to stick it that way, man. I don't want to be bored of football, man. I don't want to be bored of football. Man. I love yeah, the, yeah. the beautiful game. You're already yeah. taking away the tackles from me, man. I don't need anything else, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, Uncle Rods, big up no beats, Fozzy, and the chat. Big up, Uncle big up, Rods. Uncle Rods. He's gonna subscribe to Uncle Rods, man. He's on the way yeah. to three thousand on his channel. A hundred percent. Wow. Um, yeah, go subscribe to him. You won't be disappointed. Um, Redbird, bless up to Uncle Rods. What are your thoughts on the game yesterday? Okay, so. LFC Ari in the first 10 minutes I was a bit nervous to be honest but when we got to in our groove I felt we'd win apart from the goal that they they didn't get too many chances up front great game to watch 100% uh, LFC Ari says agreed no beats I think uh, he would be a decent left mid left attacking mid or 10 100% um, everybody agree but I also feel like we can see the first 15 minutes every game yeah we're slow we're slow off the blocks in every every 15 minutes of every game for some reason LFC Ari that's true if we watch the team with a weak heart you're in trouble heart attack <laughs> incoming <laughs> 100% LFC Ari says Fozzy I remember Jota in preseason mentioning the type of rubles he mm. laid on for Salah yeah. was the kind he was looking forward to as well yeah 100%. That's what Maka does. It's the mm -hmm. perfect, you know, 
um, uh, the perfect way of pass, and we need to get him in those positions a lot more. Um, well said, no, I have the same argument all the time. He occupies defenders to give others space 100% Darwin. Uh, uh, Redbird says, to be fair to Darwin, they don't pass to him as much as they do to Salah. Salah had 12 shots scored. You said something about that, didn't you? You did say something about that. He gets yeah. frustrated like uh, when he yeah. doesn't get the passes, right? Yeah, exactly. I've seen it. I've seen there's a, there's a, but it, it's normal because Salah's, he's kind of like, he's earned that reputation. So he basically, mm-hmm. dem- when he demands the ball, has more weight mm-hmm. than when, when Darwin demands the ball. And especially when Elliot plays, like sometimes Elliot yeah. needs to be free from, like, you know, having that, 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 uh, he, he kind of feels responsible that he has to pass to Salah all the time. Mm. Well, what I liked about Conor Bradley yesterday, he ignored Salah a couple of times. Yeah, and, yeah. And passed, yeah. Well, you know, yeah, normally that's what they do, you know, they, they pass to Salah because it's Salah, isn't it? They're, they're all yeah. right and all that stuff about the player. And it shouldn't be like that. I mean, uh, football's a team play. You know I mean, the team wins you the league, not individually, if you know what I mean, guys. So we need to like exactly. concentrate more on that than, you know, just giving it to Salah. You know, like, if Salah misses chances and we don't win the game, we're going to blame Salah for that, you know what I mean? And uh, that's what we did in the past seasons, you know. Uh, and we don't want to go through things like that as well. He needs to be more unselfish. It's not always about being top scorer. To me, the most important thing is to win the league, you know, to win the trophies. That's what's mm-hmm. important for me. I yeah, don't care yeah. about goal records or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. I remember when we missed out on the league by 1.97 points. Mm-hmm. And um, it was the game at Everton. Salah could have squared mm-hmm. it for Mane for a tap in, yeah. and he didn't. And I was like, ah, oh, please, man. Like, we're, if we're 3 nil up, okay, fine. Like, you know, go do take your shots from wherever you're going to take exactly. it. Exactly. Well, we need to score. We need to score first. Um, 100%. Alex Yeri says, we have a very tricky away games. United, West Ham, Fulham, Everton, Villa. Basically, all our remaining away games and Spurs uh, home game as well. I'm confident yeah. with the Spurs home game. Yeah. I think we, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very confident with that Spurs home game. I think uh, revenge is in the air for that one. Well, compared to past seasons, yeah, why not? We have to be confident, you know what I mean? Um, listen, bro, yeah, we'll, we'll you, exploit you, that you, high you, line you, as well. Yeah, you know what it is? Um, I'd rather have what we have than what the other other teams have, you know what I mean? Because we've got the experience, we've got the manager, we've got the know-how. We've, done, we've been here before. Yes, last season was a terrible season, but yeah. um, that team was aging. We gave it one more shot, see if they can still do it. They couldn't. I think we've got better players than we ever had in the past. I honestly think that if you look at the technical ability and, you know, uh, high intensity football that we didn't think, not, not the front three, but I'm talking about that midfield, the way we're performing, you know what I mean? Um, it's, it's completely different to the Hendersons, you know, and, and players like that, one uh, We're more, if a team deep line defence, we know how to open them with this team compared to, yeah. you know, when we used to have one yeah. and all that stuff because they were just yeah. workmen, weren't they? Like, you know. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. And uh, that's why we went and got uh, Thiago. Unfortunately, he got injured too much. And then McAllister now. And so we saw the evolving and then Klopp just announces to us yeah. that he's leaving. Um, yeah, so... There's about 50 people watching all around social media. Please come to the YouTube channel. Like I said, we're, we're, we're new to this. We're going to start like, you know, doing this on a regular basis, like a stream more or less every other day. We're going to do like two, one in, in, obviously in the afternoon and one in the evening. So yeah, just come to the YouTube channel, subscribe people. We're trying to get to 2000, you know, make the channel bigger and better as well. I appreciate everybody that's come on the chat as well today. Like being near a bit. We appreciate you guys. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, so Redbird also says here, I'm not this in Salah, but let's be real. Sometimes his best option is to pass rather than shoot 100%. Uh, I think he needs to stop aiming for that top corner from, from the right side. Yeah. And uh, just, I don't know, um, maybe try and pass or cross it from. You there. can see he can pass in it. You saw that pass to Exactly. Him, he's, he's, he's got it. He's got it in him to pass it. He's got the vision. So. I think he just needs to do that a little bit more. Salah's first half was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blame him too much for the DS counter, but Salah is rusty. I agree. Yeah. Um, April Fool, guys, don't take it seriously. Yeah. Uh, thank you, uh, LFC Ari. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. The way the <laughs> league is going, you don't know, man. You don't know. You don't know. I'm I, like, I, for me, I'm like, I'm a little bit progressive because. We, if you're not progressive, you won't get rules like the offside rule. You won't get rules mm. like no back pass. Because mm. remember, like 
when teams start to exploit stuff in the game, I like when they bring in rules to to stop it. To like, hey, yeah, they're just killing the game here. I remember when Denmark yeah. won the the the, the Euros. Mm-hmm. But they, they scored and then they were just passing it back to Schmeichel and they'll pick it up. And it's amazing, isn't it? They, I think uh, was it Yugoslavia or someone went off, yeah. came off and then they they, yeah. they 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 came into the competition being the best runner up or something along those lines yeah, and yeah, they won the competition. Yeah. It was in '92, as I remember. It's crazy, you know what I mean? Well, how luck can play out. Like just come out mm-hmm. of nowhere. You you wasn't even meant to be in the competition, and all of a sudden you win the competition. It's crazy, yeah. man. It's so, crazy. It's, 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 criticism is okay as long as it's fair. But you know some of our fan base go on hate mode. They need to look up the definition of support. Exactly. You know what? There's no, there's no issue discussing a player could have done uh, could have done something better. Um, no. But when it goes to abuse online, then you are in, in big trouble. Um, hang on, uh, foes. Take over for one second. Okay, man. No worries, bro. As uh, this is the Tuesday fixture, people. As you can see, the Newcastle versus uh, Northern Forest of Fulham, Bournemouth versus Crystal Palace, uh, Burnley versus Wolverhampton, and uh, West Ham versus Tottenham. It doesn't affect us that much, but you know, it affects the bottom half, as you can see. What is they Arsenal versus Luton? Sure, win, isn't it? It's a sure win that one, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, uh, uh, Brentford, Brighton, Man City versus Aston Villa. Aston Villa can give them a game. They already showed the, the, the world of football how to yeah. play against Man City. But can they do that yeah. away? We'll have to wait and yeah. see. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. That's a, that'll be a good game. Yeah. We've got Sheffield United. Goal difference in this game? Uh, or are we That's... too overconfident? No. It's, I, think, I think we should aim to score early. Mm-hmm. And kill the game as early as possible and then we can think about goals. Um do not allow this team to survive for too long, man. Where we ha- where we use energy, mental energy, mm. and and uh, you know, because we've got Man United, I think, on the weekend. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Let's. We're going to be going in a minute. Innit? So, yeah. Is there anything else you want to add? Is obviously the host, but you want to add anything or? Uh, no, uh, I just want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, it's not bad, is it? When you look at that, people, it's not bad, is it? <laughs> it's not bad, man. It's not bad. Look at that. Top of the league. One, 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 one. A draw and then win. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. 100 yeah. percent If you look yeah. at Man City, they're not really they're not really doing too well. That's three draws there in mm. the last one, two, three, four, six but games. Don't yeah. you think it's amazing? Like no matter how many games you win, it doesn't really matter because you know Man City is still around you. It's weird. Like you just said, three draws. We only had one. And they're still what a few like a few points behind us. It doesn't make any sense when you look at that. Every time yeah. in the season, like whenever we whenever they drop points, we drop points. I've noticed. Yeah, but then again, yes, uh, yes, I yes. have my suspicions, as I always yes. say. Yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, let's say we're top of the league, uh, sixty-seven points. Lost less than the other teams. Uh, Arsenal lost four. Man City lost three. Um, we drew seven, Man City drew seven, Arsenal drew five. But yeah, we just got to keep going, bro. We just got to keep going. Nine, nine cup finals to go. You know, what I mean, that's those are the most important games for me. I don't know yeah. about you, Nuri Beats. Um, 100%. Just... If we get 27 points, we've yeah. won the league, like without having to rely on anything, it's in our hands now, and I like it in our hands. Let's just let's just do. What we did um, when we were chasing Man City, match them result for result. Let's match. Um, we can't actually match both teams. Let's just just keep winning because um, it's it's in our hands now. We can't we can't take our eye off the ball now. Concentrate, focus, stay true to what is it? Be professional, and I think we can do this. Yeah, this is a joke. <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> no, you beat in the wrong beat, uh, bro. Leave our game alone. Yeah, you talk about the yeah, XG. Yeah, yeah. 
I don't yeah, listen. Yeah. I'm all about eye test. I know a lot of people say it's old, but imagine this: you just go to games, you don't watch the game anywhere else. It's all about the eye test, isn't it? You, you don't care about the rest. You know I mean, at the end of the day, when people ask you about the game when you get home, you talk about what you saw, not about you know those other stuff. But I understand where Nurabis is coming from, but it ain't for me, man. I can't, nah, man. <laughs> ruining our game, man. No way, no way. <laughs> VVD is the best. Let's read out the comments before we go. Read it. VVD yeah. is the best CB, in my opinion. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Uh, Joe. Diaz has the ability, in my opinion, to get better. Yeah, he has. But the thing is, Janet, um, how, like, he could have the game like he did yesterday, but he could have a poor game tomorrow. You know what I mean? Yeah, I want him to yeah. be consistent. Like, Mane at least was consistent. Salah is always consistent. Yeah. Even Salah doesn't... Sometimes you see Salah, he's not even in the game, but he would score a goal in the last minute. You know what I mean? He repeats. Yeah. So that, that that can happen. 100%. 100%. 100%. Um, Redbird says, a guy on another chat said, Endo doesn't impress him and Joey is a better passer and offers us more options. I told him to both specs. Like, Endo's passing is so underrated by some. Hundred. <laughs> Who's he saying? Joey, what? Jo uh, Joe, Joe Gomez? Yeah, is he saying he's saying Joe Gomez is better passer than Endo? I don't know That's crazy. Is, That's crazy. No, don't do it. <laughs> Uncle says, No, don't do it. <laughs> uh, Red Man, Nora also forgot it's April Fool's until NFC Ari said it. Yeah, damn, man. Big up, <laughs> I got, big up Rods from John. Janet says, No more idiotic ideas, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think of, uh, of injuries coming? Injuries coming or injured players coming back? Let's be positive oh. here. I don't want no more injuries. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Redbird says, Janet is like laughing. Uh, love, loving the content, guys. Thank you very much, Steve Copping. Copking, sorry. Win our games and win the league 100%. Yeah, 100%. Joe Powell says, can Diaz do better? I think he can. He's 27 now. He should be able to be getting a little bit more consistent. He should have refined his game now. He's not like 22 or 23, you know, where you can... He's like, in his prime uh, now, isn't it? As I said. Exactly. Yeah. Not the peak of his prime, but he's in his prime now, isn't it? So he yeah. has to get better. Um, Michael says, I love Salah. It's special, but needs to be unselfish, yeah. Especially, you know, in the running now. We can't have any of that. Big up, gents. Big up, Michael. JK. Bless, bros. You never walk alone. Bless, bro. I'm very far. Alu, Aseg. We, we, we don't want to make the mistake of the name, innit? OA is better, man. Just say yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You never walk alone. Redbird. Uh, JK is always just a great scene, you chap. Yeah. 100%. JK, bless bro, he says, gives you the greetings back. JK, you couldn't had uh, a better scenario for Sunday. We win, and those two drop points. We don't want to see any LFC fans moan. I don't understand LFC fans moaning. What are you, what are you moaning about? Being top of the league. <laughs> it's kryptonite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. JK, I had a shitty down for a win yesterday, and I was so glad I was wrong. Uh, JK, bro, I had a draw or a city win only because Arsenal are sitting top. It all worked out yeah. at the end. Yeah, but it was actually perfect. If the worst case scenario would have been Arsenal winning, because if Arsenal won, we never had the end of it. Oh my god! Oh, mate, the draw—they just drew and they still were not hearing the end of it. Like masterclass defense. Oh my god! Like, hey, bro, this is what you used to cuss Mourinho for, and now. And they were cussing Porto, actually. You know that? They were cussing Porto for yeah. playing the same tactics. <laughs> uh, I remember. Red, yeah, yeah, Red says, yes, Joe Comas. Yeah, so he's talking about Joe Comas. Barca. Wow. Then Endo, come on, man. You guys, whoever that is needs to watch the game properly, bro. Uh, Analyze uh, the game, as they say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's been a great show, bro. We're going to bring more to you guys, isn't it? Uh, Little Beats. Like, 100% so analyzing the game after the we're going to do match <laughs> reactions in it I think that's what yeah just explains the, what we want to do man like you said so so yeah yeah we're going to do match reactions guys uh, oh, on the day of the game 
and then on the the day after, usually if it's a Monday or like the, after the weekend on a Monday, we'll do uh, an uh, analysis show like we did today. Uh, let us know what you guys thought of it um, uh, and what you guys want to see as well. What other shows would you like to see? What what kind of shows do you like to see, or you want mm-hmm. us to you know bring onto the channel so it best caters to you in it? Like this is your channel as well, so that whatever you guys vote on, we'll definitely try and bring it uh, onto the channel and try and you know serve whatever you guys are looking to to watch. And we'll also do previews for mm-hmm. games, and we'll also do like uh, a general Premier League. Uh, European kind of uh, show as well where we discuss maybe the Champions League games or or uh, Premier League games standout games something that's been this that's got the the whole country or or the world talking talking about regarding the Premier League or or, or the Champions League so it will be all catered to you guys so you guys have the the power really wherever you guys vote on we'll try and implement it yeah. um so um, yeah so we'll try and bring you guys as much shows as possible um we'll get you as much variety of voices as possible variety of opinions variety of you know so you guys so it's not like an echo chamber where i agree with Fozzie and he agrees mm-hmm. with me but yeah we'll express our honest opinions like uh, i got shot down for some of the stuff that i want to change <laughs> Foles is like, don't touch my game. I'm like, yeah, that's uh, that's it. That's what it's all about. Like, you, we're civil, we disagree, mm. we agree sometimes, and and that's what we want. And we want um, different opinions, so we can, you know, um, uh, discuss our beautiful game and uh, the future of the beautiful game as well. But yeah, uh, Foles, you want to add anything to this? Listen, um, it's been a great show, bro. Uh, thanks for you know obviously doing it for us and. Um, yeah, people, just just subscribe. That's all we're asking for. We're trying to get bigger. We're trying to make this a regular thing as well for us. So, and, and as like Nurabit said, we want to, this channel. We want to make you guys be part of the actual shows. We don't want you guys, you know, to be just like, putting comments out there. We want to see your comments. We want to see what you say, and we want to elaborate in, in a way that's you know it's good for you know both parties, which is us and you guys. So do that for us. And you know, follow our social medias and as well. Like if you want to chat to us off screen, just yeah, just send a message to each of us. We will respond. We don't we don't ignore messages or anything like that. And yeah, it's been a great show. More to come. We will be back on what is it? Wednesday. Uh, we're gonna do a show basically in it, Nurabis, every other day. We can't do yeah. it every day. Sometimes yeah. we might do it every day if we've got a break. You know what I mean? If we've yeah, got yeah. a break from work and things like that, yeah. just to bring you, you know. But we might do yeah, look out for the shows as well, which are not live. We're gonna do like news rounds, aren't we? And things like that, Nurabis. So yeah. if there's a breaking news or something important, uh, we we we'll just chat it to you for about ten minutes. But make sure you go in the comment section below when the the the, the obviously the the streams off air as well. And you could you could you could chat to us that way, innit, Nurabits? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We're here. We're available. Uh yeah, you can easily get in contact with us, uh social media. All my stuff is no beats, so you can find me wherever. And um you can find Fozzy wherever as well on, on all of these platforms on YouTube and uh and what have you. So yeah, let's just uh, let's just finish the, the the last bits of comments. Mm-hmm. JK says, impressed with Endo yesterday. Position play is exactly what we need for him to do, 100%. Um, we've got here, great show, guys. Thank you from Redbird. Uh, Redbird's uh, Red early, and he's jokes, isn't it? He's, he's coming back on the only Redbird. It wouldn't say flick on and flick off, in it? About flick. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> about flick, how's he flick, it? Flick on and <laughs> flick off. Yeah, yeah, coming yeah, to yeah. Liverpool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are great friends of Lotus. Yeah, yeah. I love that um, one. Flick on, <laughs> flick off. <laughs> would would uh, is, I live here? Say it would be nice to do a combined eleven with creators in space from uh, from opposition. Yeah, we'll yeah. definitely keep that in mind. Um, JK says Diaz twenty seven injuries off the field problems caused. A stutter in his career. The City and Brighton game showed how Diaz has sorted himself out. And yeah. all for twenty five grand after tax, bro wants a pay rise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Redbird says, "I love, I love watching quizzes, especially when it's international time." Yep. Oh yes. We'll def- yeah. We'll, yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll definitely do that. Qu- 
quizzes and uh, maybe we can do like a draft and stuff, you know what I mean? Um, Redbird says, no, is a secret yank. You know what? <laughs> I might have been like, you know, influenced. My wife is American, so maybe she's influenced me, man. And uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I might have been brainwashed by her, but yeah, who knows, man? <laughs> Antoine, there he is. There's Antoine, Antoine uh, Redbird. There you There's go. your guy, Antoine, man. Flick there on and go. flick off. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys, from Antoine? <laughs> I think it was something along those lines, as I remember. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, it, it, it was discussing if we if you would take um, Hansi Hans Flick. Uh, and he goes, Hansi Flick, yeah. And he goes, Hansi can flick and flick off. <laughs> <laughs> John Coway, great stream, Fozzy and No Beats. Thank you, brother. Sim says, poor game management from Klopp Linders last 10 minutes. I, um, yeah, he should have brought on Konate. I've got to be real. You know, to, just to see the game out because it would, it would have been one chance, one goal and that stupid Warbeck. Did you see the way he was playing yesterday, guys? Yeah, Did you yeah, see yeah, Warbeck? Yeah, yeah. How determined yeah. he was. I've never, listen, Warbeck is an injury prone player. I've never ever seen him run as much as that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hands Broad. can flick off. Broad, man. <laughs> As Anton said, hands can <laughs> flick off. No, <laughs> there no. it is. <laughs> Sim, get Goldbridge on your show. Yeah. We'll I try. You, know, you never know. Uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's a, a far, far-fetched what is it, request, but yeah, we'll try. Um, John Conway, big up. And the last comment, Welbeck, how old is he now? 57. <laughs> Did you see him run JK yesterday? Did you see that? You know what I'm saying? Dude is you know he, United. You know he's trying to help. You know he's trying yeah, to help yeah, to win the league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a United fan, played for Arsenal, so we know his loyalties, isn't it? So, um, exactly. yeah, that's it, man. Great show. I loved it, guys. Appreciate all the comments. The view of Thank hosting you, of Neurobeats. Thank you, guys. I'll try and improve my hosting as well. I know it's not the best. I'm not oh, on the level of Fozzy, but I'll, I'm trying to catch up. Nah, bro, man. It's brilliant, man. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. All right, guys. That's us. We'll see you. We'll see you. So don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. No, yeah. Yes, but yeah. We'll see you soon, people. Take care, everybody. Before we go, thank you, chat. Thank you, everybody. And, you know, keep it coming. Keep it coming. We ain't going nowhere. Take care. Take care. Take care. Peace.